Today, we are going to read a book by one of my favorite authors. We're going to read a book by Jan Brett. Jan Brett. Gingerbread Friends. This book reminds me a lot of another book that we've read before. So while you're listening, see if you can figure out what book this reminds you of. The sassy gingerbread baby lived in a scrumptious gingerbread house in the bedroom of a boy named Maddie. He was happy with the toys and treats that Maddie made for him, but still something was missing. One day he watched Maddie go off with his friends to ski and skate, and he knew what it was. I'm the gingerbread baby, happy as can be. Until Maddie goes out, then it's lonely here for me. I want a friend of my own, Gingerbread Baby thought. The next morning, Maddie stayed home, but he was too busy in the kitchen to play. So Gingerbread Baby slipped out and headed to the village to look for a friend. There he goes. The Gingerbread Baby walked along the lane. He came to a bakery and saw a man and a woman just his size in the window. Maybe they would like to be my friends, he thought. There's Gingerbread Baby going in the bakery. Inside, Gingerbread Baby popped up in front of them and sang, I'm the Gingerbread Baby, peppy as can be. I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. But the man and the woman just stared straight ahead like statues. Oh, I missed. <clears throat> oh, no, I don't. The gingerbread baby saw a sugar cookie girl nearby. He cartwheeled across the marshmallow snow singing, I'm the gingerbread baby, gallant as can be. I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. But she didn't look at him and she didn't say a word. Next, the gingerbread baby spotted seven swans swimming on a sugar frosting sea. He leaped toward them and called out in excitement, I'm the gingerbread baby, clever as can be. I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me but the elegant swans didn't even honk a hello. They stayed exactly as they were, stiff and still. Gingerbread Baby turned and gazed up at a cake as tall as a mountain, with a man and a woman dancing on top. I'm the Gingerbread Baby, plucky as can be. I'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me. But when he reached the top, he saw that they weren't dancing at all. They were still as stone. The gingerbread baby was about to give up when he saw a door just his size. I'll go in there and think about what to do next, he thought. And he slid down the cake and ran inside where he fell sound a sleep. Good night, gingerbread baby. Scritchy, scratchy. The gingerbread baby woke up and found himself face to face with a real live mama mouse nibbling on his marshmallow pom-pom. Oh no, he thought. Home is the place for me. And he ran out of the bakery with the mouse, the cat, the baker, and his wife not far behind. As the gingerbread baby raced home on his rooster, the unfriendly creatures chasing him were joined by a red fox who almost caught the gingerbread baby as he flew over the fence and ran into Maddie's house just in time. Tired and sad, the gingerbread baby began to cry. I'm the gingerbread baby. Lonely as can be, no one wants to be my friend, as far as I can see. 
but then he heard some singing and a trail of cupcakes caught his eye. He climbed the stairs and you'll never guess what he found. Huh? Wow. We're gingerbread friends, playful as can be. We'll be friends with you if you'll be friends with me and me and me and me and me and me. Oh, wow.